Get ready for Monday Motivation. Welcome to Monday Motivation. This is your host, Prophetess Kimberly Moses, and I'm going to take you guys on a fantastic journey this week. Every week, I'm going to encourage you and give you the word of the Lord to get you through your week. So get ready to be empowered and get strengthened in your faith. So today, I want to talk to you guys about open doors. So I asked the Lord, what is the word for the month of December? And he says, December is the month of open doors. So when we begin to look at doors, we think about just opportunities. We think about divine connections. We think about blessings, miracles. We think about transitioning from an old season to a better season or to a new season. Some of us begin to think about new beginnings and new opportunities. Well, Jesus is the door. It was so amazing because after I got that word, the next day, I began to look on line and I began to see the verse of the day and it was talking about how Jesus is the door. So I was so amazed. So God was confirming his word. I want to prophesy over your life this month in December that great things will happen for you. You're going to walk through the right door this month. No more will you get connected with the wrong people and go around the mountain in Jesus name. I decree and declare that the Lord is ordering your steps through the right doors. Beloved, when doors begin to open, we have to pray and make sure that it's a God door and not just any kind of door because we don't have time to waste. I decree and declare this is going to be a favorable month for you. We are in the last month of this year in 2019, and God wants us to finish strong. God wants to make sure that we cross over in in the right path. He wants us to, to make sure that we are staying on the straight and narrow path. He wants us to make sure that we are focused on Him. He wants us to make sure that our hearts and minds are in alignment with his will for our lives so we can walk through the right door. God want to make sure that when he opens up these doors for us, that we won't turn our backs on him, that we won't neglect his His spirit, that we'll just say, you know what, God, I'm going to go even harder for you. Hi, I'm Prophetess K, and I have some exciting news. Get ready to participate in my annual book collaboration. To write a chapter in my book, I Almost Died. Do you have a testimony about a near death or a death experience? Have you seen heaven or hell? Have you passed away and came back? Do you have a story that you want to tell? Guess what? You can now partner with me as we go forth and evangelize those people that are living recklessly. You can partner with me and we can do great exploits for God's glory. You can sign up today on my website at prophetisk.org. You will have awesome benefits. Some of the benefits are being published through Rejoice Essential Publishing, receive impartation, receive book training on how to write your own book. You will be featured in a short film on our network. You will have your own magazine interview. You will make divine connections and you can also participate in our annual book fair. I'll see you January the 27th, 2020. So as the Lord began to talk to me about doors opening, I began to realize that, yes, Jesus is the door and he's opening up a door of intimacy, a greater level of intimacy if you want it. Some of us, we neglect the Holy Spirit when he uh, gives an uh, uh when he gives us an unction to uh, pray, but you can't miss this door that the Lord is opening because God is going to show us great and mighty things that we have not known. And he wants to show you so much and uh, give you a word for your next season. And he want, He longs to speak to you and he longs to promote you and elevate you as you look to Christ as the door. I know we're looking for other doors like employment and God is going to open up doors of employment in your life if you're believing him for a job. I know some of us are looking for doors of wealth and finances, and those doors will open as we focus on Christ being the door. 
I know some of us are looking for doors to open up for opportunities to preach the gospel. Those doors are going to open up so big. They're going to fly off the hinges as you focus on Jesus being the door. See, the enemy is crafty and cunning and he longs to uh, trick us up and he wants to cause us to waste time, energy, cause heartache, pain, destroy what we're doing, cause us to go through the wrong doors and connect with the wrong people. But I decree and declare that you will not take the bait of the enemy. You will not just get connected with anyone. But the doors that God are opening are God appointed. The doors that are open for us will be something that the Lord has mandated that we're going to walk through the right door in this season in Jesus name. Listen, God has something special for you. Don't end this last month of the year depressed, discouraged, doubting God. Everything that God has spoken over you is going to come to pass everything. The right doors will open. I know some of you guys say, God, I'm praying, I'm fasting. I am doing everything that you tell me to do, but nothing is opening. Those doors are getting ready to bust wide open for you. This month, expect doors to open, many doors. As your heart is in alignment with Christ, as you obey God as never before and walk uprightly before him, God will bless you. The blessings are on the way because of your faithfulness. The blessings are on the way and God wants to open up major doors for you. Doors that you're not even qualified in the natural to go through. But God says because your heart was pure before him and your motives checked out, then he's going to send you in those places. He's going to raise you up and there will be people that be envious and jealous and people that will try to come against you because they feel like you just arrived overnight, but they don't know your process. There will even be people that will even try to come against you and demote you. But the more they come against you, the more God will promote you. The more God will elevate you. The more God will frustrate your enemies. God is going to allow you to walk through the right doors. You don't have to cry anymore. You don't have to be depressed anymore. God's going to lead you and guide you as you open up your heart today and say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Come on in. I know you stand at the door and knock and I I'm going to let you in to the doors of my heart so you can come sup with me. Lord, I know that you're calling me until until deeper realms of prayer and intercession. And I'm going to go all the way. And as I focus on you, Christ being the door of my heart, Christ being the door of my life then I know the doors of finances will open. The doors of the right relationships will open. More preaching doors will open. More media doors will open. More doors will open for promotion. More doors will open for my business to prosper. Whatever you're doing, amen. I want to decree and declare this month, God will do it this month before the end of the year. God will open up major doors, doors that it would have took someone 20 years to prepare to go through. But God did it for you overnight because he has need of you. He has need of the anointing on your life. He has need of what you carry that he birthed inside of you. Just be faithful. Keep writing those books. Keep doing those that business. Keep fasting keep praying keep working on your ministry keep doing everything that god has told you to do so i want to make some decrees on this broadcast today amen so i decree and declare that doors of opportunities will open in jesus name i decree and declare that doors of favor will open i decree and declare that doors of breakthrough will open I decree and declare that doors of divine connections will open. I decree and declare that doors of restoration will open. I decree and declare that doors of increased intimacy with the Lord will open. I decree and declare that doors of promotion will open in Jesus name. I prophesy this week will be a great week for you guys that nothing the enemy doesn't say will prosper. You guys will win because you're on the right team. Keep focusing on the Lord. Keep pushing. You're right there to receiving the biggest harvest in your life. In Jesus' name, 
I pray this word bless you. So into this word. Go to my website at prophetisk.org and make a donation or go to Cash App, dollar sign, Prophetess Kim. And I'll see you guys on the next Monday Motivation.